Courtney having a baby. Welcome back to my channel. This is my 34 week bump date. Today I am 34 weeks pregnant. Today baby is the size of a honeydew. Firstly, I would just like to apologize if the video quality or the audio quality is worse or different on this video. My husband took my car to work today and it had my camera in it. So I'm recording on my phone. This is probably going to be a shorter bump date because I don't have a whole lot to talk about this week but I do have a fair few symptoms so I will go through those now. My first symptom is loss of appetite. Just nothing sounds good. When lunch or dinner time rolls around I know that I have to eat but nothing sounds good. Except for chocolate. Chocolate sounds good but you can't have chocolate for lunch or dinner for that matter. <laughs> and then when I finally do eat I can't eat much so that's another symptom that I've had I guess because she's getting bigger and there's not a whole lot of room in there for my stomach my eyes are bigger than my stomach sometimes and I will plate up a big meal and I can't eat at all which is very unlike me my next symptom is insomnia this has been brutal the last few weeks I think paired with being a little bit bigger and having 50 pillows surrounding me <laughs> to try and get comfortable. I'm just not sleeping very well. And even in ideal situations in bed, I think I've mentioned in previous videos that we have barking dogs that live next door to us and they bark quite a lot during the night and they're right outside my window. So even if I get comfortable, I can't sleep because there's a barking dog there. So I've not been sleeping very well at night time. And when I toss and turn, it's like an event because I have to move and readjust 50 pillows. <laughs> My poor husband, I think it wakes him up every single time I toss and turn. <laughs> Along with that symptom, I've been having a lot of fatigue. So during the day, I'm just really tired and I don't want to do anything. I generally take a nap every single day. And for some reason, I sleep better during that one or two hour nap than I do at night time. Maybe because the dogs don't bark as much during the day or I don't know I think I've always slept a little bit better during the day but it's going to make for an interesting situation when I go back to work next week because I'm working five days a week now Monday to Friday come next Monday so that's going to be interesting not being able to nap my next symptom which has gotten really bad over the last couple of weeks is reflux majority of the time when it happens, like I've said in previous videos, I'm asleep. Last night was particularly bad. It woke me up multiple times and I ended up having to put pillows, like lots of pillows underneath me to prop me up. And I've had silent reflux my whole life. So I've never experienced any symptoms of reflux. It's just been there and I didn't even know that it was happening until my dentist pointed it out to me because I've got really bad teeth. Reflux that isn't silent sucks. I, I never even knew what the symptoms were until I experienced it during pregnancy. So I'll find myself, I'll be completely asleep one minute and the next minute I feel like I'm about to throw up and I can, it, the acid or something comes up and it's like in the back of my throat. Sometimes it makes it to my mouth and I have to sit up really quickly or I feel like I'm gonna throw up. That's not fun. <laughs> Just to add to the mix of everything that's keeping me awake. <laughs> my last symptom that I would like to mention, I've had this for a couple of months now, but I didn't actually know that it was a pregnancy symptom until I watched a couple of other pregnancy videos, like bump dates or updates, from a couple of the other YouTubers that I follow, and they mentioned it on theirs, and I was like, I've been experiencing that too, I thought it was just me. <laughs> and that is that I've been smelly, I've been smelling smell like BO, like my deodorant's not working properly. I thought it was because I swapped deodorants because I generally just buy what's on special at Coles. But I've tried a few different ones now and it's still happening. I still have to find a good one that I'm not going to smell with. Apparently it's a pregnancy symptom to just smell, which I actually never knew about. It's very interesting. I learned something new. 
so that's all for my symptoms for this week. Just a couple of things that have happened is I went ahead and booked a maternity and a newborn photo shoot. I was unsure about whether I was going to do this, but I'm only pregnant with her once and she's only going to be a newborn once, so I've gone ahead and just booked them in and I'm extremely excited to get them done. Also something else exciting this week is now that I'm 34 weeks pregnant, I can officially give birth at the private hospital that I was hoping to give birth in. They don't accept mums until they are 34 weeks. If you go into labour before then, you have to go to the public hospital because they've got a better NICU. There's been no sign of preterm labour, so that is extremely good news for me as well. I have an OB appointment tomorrow and hopefully he checks my cervix, that would be wonderful. And then on Thursday, I have a midwife appointment at the hospital and she is going to take us through the hospital basically and do a more in-depth tour and I guess talk about the birth plan and everything like that. I'm hoping my husband can come to that, that would be really, really cool. I thought that I was going to get a lot more videos done during my leave than I actually did. I kind of just bummed around the whole time. <laughs> managed to get up the natural or epidural video but that's about it. I had a few other ones that I wanted to do and I've actually added a video to the list of videos that I want to do and that is the controversial parenting tag which I think would be extremely interesting to do before we have our baby to see if anything changes afterwards and I would love to do it with Andrew. I'd love to have him in that video to get his opinion on each of those topics as well. Okay guys, that is all I have to talk about for this week. I will go ahead and show you my 34 week bump. If you haven't already subscribed, you can subscribe below if you would like to follow our journey and I will talk to you later. Bye!